Install the HSI2 software from the memory stick included in the sales package. The first tab when you open the software includes everything you need to connect the camera. First, click the plus sign from the upper left corner. This opens a new window where you can find your camera's serial number. Click the serial number and then select OK. Now you can see in the device tab that your camera is available on the left side of the tab. Double click your camera's serial number and you can see that the camera status changes from available to connected. On the upper column of this device tab, you can change the name of the camera, see the product serial number of your HSC2 and the software version you are using. You can also change the time and date, bit depth and frame rate. When the camera is connected to HSI2 software, you can move to the Data Visualization tab. From this tab, you can see the live image from your hyperspectral device. Below this, you can see the histogram of the live image frame. From the histogram, it is possible to see if the image is over or under saturated. When you want to take a specific image using the HSC2, start from creating a sequence. In the sequence, you choose the wavelengths and exposure time for your imaging purposes. This is done by clicking the menu in the upper right corner and selecting New. Now the software opens a new window where you can create your sequence. First, create a name for your sequence. The next step is to define what wavelengths you want to image. Then add the number of bands you want to take. Click the Add button and you can see your wavelengths in the right-hand side. You can also erase specific bands by using the X button on the right-hand side and add new specific bands by using the Wavelength field below the band selection. Once you have set the desired wavelengths as well as the number of bands, you can display them on the Data Visualization tab by clicking the Apply button. Now you can change the exposure time by using either the exposure field or the exposure time slider. After creating the sequence, make sure the image is on live mode by pressing the play button. Once you have selected your desired exposure time, you can add this sequence to the script simply by clicking the Add to Script button. The next step is to create the script that you use when taking images with your HSC2 hyperspectral camera. You can see that the script creator is located on the bottom half of the Data Visualization tab. From this creator, you can set the script's name, script run triggering, sequence measure occurrence, and sequence interval. The script name can be anything you like. Below these parameters, you can also see your sequences. Please note that you can create multiple sequences to the same script. After creating your script, you can download it to your computer for later usage by selecting Save As in the menu from the upper right corner, or you can upload your script straight to your camera by choosing Upload from the same menu. When you have uploaded the script, you can go back to the Device tab. From this tab, you can see your script below the Script Manager table. Now you'll want to set your script active by double-clicking it and choosing from the menu below Set Active. You can now see your script on the Active Script field. You can now start taking images simply by choosing Run and the camera starts recording. When the recording starts, you can see that on the upper left corner, the color before your camera name changes to red. This means that the camera is currently recording. The recording is finished when the color changes back to green. After the camera has recorded, you can see below the storage headline that there is one session recorded. You can now import this session simply by clicking the import button and choosing the data you just recorded. You can choose the folder where you want this data to be imported, and if you want to remove the data from the device after the import.
You can examine the data you just stored by opening it in the HSI2 software. This is done by going to the Data Visualization tab and clicking the Folder button above the Live Image section. When you open the data sequence on the HSI2 software, you can click anywhere from the image to see the spectrum. For deeper analysis, you can also use third-party software for analyzing the data. The snapshot function on the HSI2 software enables the user to measure one sequence and see the spectrum of the image seen. Go to the Data Visualization tab. To take a snapshot with a defined sequence, click the Record button. The camera will now take the desired frames as defined in your sequence. A status window shows when the measurement is done. The spectrum can be acquired by clicking the image at the desired location on the image. The spectrum will be shown at the visualization window. The y-axis of the spectrum can be either relative, radiometric, or reference. This selection can be made from the drop-down menu. The measured data cube taken via the snapshot can also be saved for further analysis by using the Save button.